while my two cute little girls are going to try and take a nap. Uh, I'm going to head outside and do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, I figured now would be a real good time to take garbage out. So, yeah, I need to pay more attention to uh, camera framing. I'm going to head up this direction. And there's actually a trash can up there. Yeah, this wasn't here last night. There are still wild burrow up in this area. Every once in a while you see them, but they've generally kind of learned to stay away from people. So hopefully today, Cindy on the way in saw uh, a few of them. Hopefully today we'll see a few. Yeah, there's some gorgeous sights all through here. Yesterday's walk, Cindy and I found a couple of primo sites that we're hoping to get to. Oop, I need to get out of the way before I get run over. They've got a discovery center here. That I think that's it. And so I'm going to try and walk up and check it out. Yeah, that ain't it. That's a playground. I think I may be way over there. I already came quite a ways. It's gorgeous up here. And I'm going to continue trying. A little bit longer of a walk than I thought. But that's why we have decent cell reception. Hop. Okay, Discovery Center wasn't too much further. It's up here, but it looks like it may be closed. Ha. Did all that long walk for nothing. a.m. to 4 p.m. It is 9.06. We'll check it out. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna let videos, so. Yeah, they're closed. Even though it says after nine. But anyways, this is Lake Pleasant. That's the dam. A couple friends, uh, that I used to work with were on the construction crew that built that dam. Somewhere down in here, submerged, is an old dam. And scuba divers like to go down there, but it's normally deep enough that it's on a, uh, a tech dive. And to be bluntly honest, the lake sucks bad enough. Visibility in this lake sucks bad enough that you can't see anything and there's not really a whole lot of reason to dive it other than a training dive This is supposed to be And it wouldn't surprise me if there is one in here somewhere Possibly too because I see a house there and, it, and over in this grass is another house uh, A desert tortoise But if there's one here I don't see it. And there's the other house. They're actually kind of cool. One time I've seen one out in nature, but uh, generally you see them in zoos and stuff like that, that they kind of stay out of sight of people and they're more nocturnal, that they come out at night when it's cooler. Unless it's winter, then they just kind of stay hide, it, hide out until the sun comes up and then they come out and sun themselves. Now I don't know if these are actually for real, but it looks like there's some petroglyphs on that one. But yeah, I don't see the desert tortoise anywhere in here. Either they're hiding out, which nope, there he is. I guess he heard somebody talking and decided to come over and visit.
yeah, I don't know if it's actually he or she, but uh, I, I go with he or she. And generically, I'll call him a him. Yeah, they've got a, a neat patio out there that is a great overlook. Uh, after Cindy and Chana's nap, I'll see if I can get them to come on up with me. I'm going to drive this time. There's a nice parking lot there. There's no sense in not making use of it. And down below, there's a, uh, a nice walkway that you can go. And there's a little bit of a patio back there. A little bit of patio underneath. But I see a really cool bench that I'm going to have a, have a seat for a few minutes. We'll have to come back here with Cindy. And explore more of this. Since it's all concreted, we'll just take Chana stroller without a problem and check out a little bit more. And possibly take Chana over to the playground and let her explore.